This one's on G Devil's Pie. It's kind of like the KD special winning settings. Uh, it's not full feature, but uh, it still works, okay? But the, the job is still the same thing. It, you know, keeps your applications organized, or you want to apply like a certain rule to the applications, like maximize, minimize, full screen, uh, putting on a certain workspace, you can do that. Anyways, let's bust this one out. So this is the front end to it. But uh, let's say, for example, we want to do uh, apply the changes to bleach bit. So you see, this starts out like this, all right? Uh, just minimize it. And now we're going to add the rules to it. So I just click on get here. And we have it on our list here, the bleach bit. Apply. And it fills out the, the you know, the um, empty spaces for us. Really easy there. What I recommend using for the matching is the application name because it makes a lot of sense uh, to use that. And uh, now we go to the actions. Some of these are, you know, pretty easy to understand, but if you don't understand, you can always click on it and read a little bit on the side here. All right. So basically, just check out, you know, whatever you want to use. So let's say, for example, uh, we do this one, maximize. Okay. And um, let's give this a name, bleach bit and save now it saves it to our list here the bleach bit right there then let's say we start it and now whenever we open bleach bit it should be maximized okay always so that's one thing you can do uh, with it uh, another thing people asked me was uh, how I got cover to uh, you know be the way it is so let me show you what I'm talking about so my cover I have no borders you know, no nothing. It doesn't go to the tray or the dock, nothing like that. And it shows up in all the viewports, right? So I got all four of them here working. And what I use is uh, is this one, G Devil's Pie. Uh, some people use Compass for this, but I'm using uh, the G Devil's Pie here. And let me show you how to do that. So let's go on Edit here. And I did the same thing, but. Uh, the options what I used was um, was it undecorate. This will remove uh, you know the title bar here. It'll remove that. The skip pager, I believe it skips uh, either the task uh, manager or what was it? I forgot one of those things. And uh, above here, you keep above the other applications, so it'll be a higher um, you know priority. Was it task list? It'll skip the task bar. Opacity is not really, um, you know, not a big deal. But you, if you want to make it look sexy, you can actually lower their opacity and look like transparency. And stick will, you know, show up in all your compass viewports. So basically, that's what the stick is. It shows up in all four. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, another thing is um, if you do like other applications, okay, and uh, you're using only like Metacity or Metacity. If you want to use like uh, pin it to a, a certain workspace, uh, this is what you want to use set workspace. If you're using Compass, you want to use uh, set viewport. Okay. Same thing for I think the stick. Uh, this is for viewports, and the other one is pin. I believe this is for uh, Meta City only. I'm not really sure, but um, just uh, know the difference of workspace and viewport, uh, Compass and uh, Metacity. Okay. If you want to do like a height and width and all that, just move the win to the windows to the right uh, position that you want, and then just hit on Get, and I'll show you like a list of it, you know, a list, and then it'll fill out in the information for you. Not a big deal, but that's how you do that. And if you want to do like uh, the normal way or you know, the Stone Age way, uh, you can still do the the, you know, the raw hard coding and all that here. Basically, this will will actually save it into your. Um, what is that your devil's pie folder? So let me show you. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, what was that one? Uh, your devil's pie folder right here. It's in your home folder. Dot devil's pie, and basically it'll save into a dot ds file, and it's the same thing. It's just the code in there. So that's where it saves it to if you wanted to know. But basically that's all it does. You know, all you do is check out the options. Um, that, what you can do in here. That's it for this one though. And the way to get this is basically, um, what was that? You need to go to Synaptic and search for Devil's Pie. Okay. 
that's the back end and then if you want to download the front end which is what I was using um, let's go back here this is the front end to it all right is I think it's in Python anyways uh, download it and extract it and um, make sure you go to properties permission allow executing and then you can run it you know normally like this and this will be your front end much easier to use this than uh, to do it manually so that's it for this one G Devil Spy check it out okay